Hi, I'm Rhonda Anderson at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center. As preparations are underway for the start of the American Diabetes Association's 75th scientific session, the largest diabetes meeting in the world. Earlier this week, I had an opportunity to sit down with our brand new CEO, Kevin L. Hagen, and Dr. Bob Ratner, our Chief Scientific and Medical Officer, to get their perspectives on what we could expect at our 75th annual meeting. Here's what they had to say. I'm incredibly excited about the opportunity to become the CEO of the American Diabetes Association. And I can't think of a better way to start than this week. This is actually my very first week at work at the American Diabetes Association, and it's the 75th scientific sessions. So I'm incredibly energetic about getting here and meeting all of the important practitioners, researchers, and clinicians that are so dedicated to the work that we do in order to defeat diabetes. And I'm really excited about just being here, seeing the energy and the enthusiasm of the people around this work, and to begin to really learn all about the science and the medicine that goes with the American Diabetes Association's work. I absolutely do have a personal connection to diabetes on many levels. Uh, on a very personal level, many years ago I was diagnosed with prediabetes and have worked really hard to make sure that I can keep that in control. And then my family, really has multiple levels of diabetes. My grandparents had diabetes, my mother and father both have type 2 diabetes, my brother-in-law, my uncle, so it is a disease that personally affects my family and the interesting thing to me about coming and be becoming the CEO of the American Diabetes Association is really the opportunity to elevate the, the messaging around the importance of this work and what it means to the American public and how we can collectively get together and defeat this disease and improve the lives of people with diabetes and continue our work to find a cure because this is a disease that not only affects the individual but it also affects the entire family unit. We've made incredible strides in the last five to ten years in terms of understanding the pathophysiology surrounding both type 1 and type 2 diabetes and the therapeutics. All of that is simply going to be expanded at this meeting. Understanding how the brain really controls metabolism, how we can look at fat, just the fat cells and understand that it's an active hormonal system that really drives much of metabolism. The Banting Award lecture this year by Dr. Philip Scher is going to be incredibly exciting, really looking at the role of fat in how it ultimately controls metabolism. We've come so far in terms of our ability to treat both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. On Tuesday morning, we're going to have a symposium with individuals who have been working in the field for 50 years, describing how research has changed, describing how therapy has changed. We have two people with diabetes who are going to be within that symposium. One is Dr. Michael Brownlee, who's already received our top scientific award, the Banting Award Medal. But he's lived with diabetes for over 50 years. And Ms. Ham is going to be batting cleanup in that symposium. She's only had diabetes for 78 years. So the, the changes that have taken place have been remarkable. From a life-threatening disease to a chronic disease, to a disease in which people with diabetes actually are their own primary care providers. Well, we certainly have a lot to look forward to this week for scientific sessions, so make sure you come back regularly to find out more about our research, breaking news, and updates from the 75th scientific sessions. Go to diabetes.org slash breaking news and on social media use hashtag 2015 ADA. I'm Rhonda Anderson in Boston.